Uh, the primary function of the support team at Red Bull is to develop the current Formula One car, the RB6. We get the chance to take one of, the, one of our Formula One cars around the world uh, to give people a taste of what Formula One is about. The main problem will be actually getting traction, being able to drive the car forwards. Um, this is a problem we had when we, when we ran on ice. Even though we had studded tyres with a Formula One car, it was very difficult to, just to get the car moving. We're going to try to use the slick tyre, uh, the non-treaded tyre, because we feel we need the biggest footprint possible. By footprint, I mean the, the amount of tyre which is actually in contact with the ground. Uh, with the rain tyre, because you have the, uh, uh, the nobules, you, they, they will dig into the sand and you haven't got as much rubber actually touching the surface. Well, pretty much what we've done is just to raise the car as high as we can. Um, we have, and we're going to let the tyre pressures down. Just, just as I say, to make the contact patch uh, as big as possible. I mean, this has never been done before, so uh, it's all new territory for us, so we'll give it a go. It's quite exciting, actually. It's, it's a bit scary because, uh, you know, we've come into this beautiful place and, uh, and I, I just hope we can do it now. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? I was just so surprised at how well the car performed on sand. When I get to know, I had to drive in uh, the Dominican Republic, uh, especially when I was going into the beach or I knew that I was going to the avenue to make a show run. I accepted completely because I think it was um, a new experience for everybody, uh, especially because it was the first time that Formula One was coming to the Dominican Republic and it was also a good idea for me to promote myself, to promote Red Bull, and it's always cool to do such a things like this. I think uh, it, it was a really nice experience and hopefully we can do so much more.